We begin tonight with the tragic case. The bodies of a pregnant San Antonio area teenager and her boyfriend were found this afternoon. They had been missing for two days. 18 year old Savannah Soto planned to have an induced labor Saturday night, but never showed up to the hospital. Tonight, we're hearing from a family member and investigators. Matt Doherty live in West Houston with the very latest on this story tonight. Matt. Yeah, San Antonio police aren't giving any new details about what exactly they may have found. The chief of police is still calling this only a quote possible murder. The bodies of 18 year old Savannah Soto and her boyfriend Matthew Guerra were found this afternoon in a car that San Antonio police say was parked here for three or four days. Police say they were alerted to the vehicle by family members who said someone called and told them the car was in this northwest San Antonio apartment complex parking lot. Perplexing crime scene. And detectives right now are looking at this as a possible murder and uh, but we don't know for sure. The police chief described the crime scene as complex, but would not say why when he was asked by reporters. Earlier today, police say they had not been able to move the bodies and did not know if there was a murder weapon inside of the vehicle. There's nothing in this world is ever gonna bring them back. I just want answers to who, what, and why why this happened to her. Savannah Soto was pregnant and a week past her due date. She was scheduled to show up to the hospital on Saturday night so that she could have her baby through an induced labor. Her mother contacted police when she couldn't reach her daughter and organized a search for Savannah on Christmas Eve. On Monday, police in Leon Valley, which is just outside of San Antonio, issued what is known as a clear alert. The alert is sent out for a missing adult suspected of being in serious and immediate danger. Savannah Soto was reportedly last seen on Friday afternoon at her apartment complex in Leon Valley. The San Antonio police are the ones handling this investigation. We hope to learn more information in the coming days. Back to you. Still a lot of unanswered questions there. We hope to hear what investigators have to say later. Matt, thank you.